Hello guys, welcome back to Raze Gaming Guitar Productions and today I will be showing you guys how to fix corrupted flash drives, SSDs or hard drives. Now in my case, I bought some cheap eBay flash drives and ever since then my flash drives have become so corrupted. They create 5 different partitions on their own and become hard to manage. But in this video, I have 2 methods of fixing this and hopefully it works for you too. Let's get into it. Now the first method is using command prompt. So all you need to do is open command prompt as a administrator type in disk part then just type in list disk this will show all of the active disks inside of your pc and all of the ones that are currently working and then using to find the one that isn't working for you so for me it is disk 2 just type in select and then type in the disk that isn't working for you so minus 2 select disk 2 it'll say that it selected that disk then just type in clean then it'll say disk part succeeded in cleaning this disk. Now that is not it because this completely wipes the disk drive of everything, including partitions. So you'll then need to add all of the partitions back. Now this second method can be done fully inside of the built-in disk management software, but this method continues the first method. Let's begin. So once you have disk management open, let's first start on if you were to use this from the beginning. So. All you need to do is go to the disk drive that is giving you issues. Now this method can work, I would say 75% of the time, depending on the severity of the issues on your disk drive, this probably won't work. So you'll need to use the command prompt, but let's say this does work. All you need to do is click the partition and then click delete volume. Now, of course I cannot do it for the disk drive that is giving me issues because of course it isn't giving me issues anymore. I've already cleaned it out using the command prompt, but let's just say for instance, disk one is the drive that is giving issues. Just right click, delete volume, do that for all of the partitions that are on the drive and then it should look like this. 29 gigabytes unallocated or however much is on your drive. Now let's go to the second part, which is actually adding the partition back. So just right click, new simple volume, next, just click next. And then you can assign whatever drive letter you want. I would just keep it however it is. And if you like to organize your drives a certain way, you can always just set it however you want. I'm gonna keep it at F. Then you can just format this volume with the following settings, or you can not format this volume. If you use the command prompt in the first method, then you won't need to format it. But honestly, I just keep it like this just for safety reasons, just so nothing messes up. But all you need to do is just go to the file system, set it to whatever file system you want. Then you can change the allocation unit size. Just keep it at default, change the volume label. As you guys see, I have different volume labels for my drives, secondary game drive, and then I also have my C drive, but you can put whatever you want. This is completely preference. Then you can do a quick format or you can enable file and folder compression. Just keep this all how I have it, unless you know what you're doing. Then click next and then click finish. And then once you do that, you should see that a new partition is created on that drive. And now as you'll look inside of file manager, then you'll see that the USB drive that was just giving me issues is completely clean, completely formatted and is no longer giving me issues. Now, one thing I will say is once you do the things that I just showed, you might actually have to format the drive. That's exactly what I had to do. But once you do that, everything should be working. I have the full 29.2 gigabytes free of my drive. And if I go in, there is no issues. There's not a thousand partitions on that drive for absolutely no reason. And yeah, this works very well. And I'm glad that I was able to find this. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any other issues that need fixing, make sure to comment those issues. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. But I will see you guys in the next one.